verse for Amani Utupe sounds like this. Will you keep a steady beat with me? Road is rocky and the way is dark. Amani Utupe na Ustawi. Every road has a different fork. Amani Utupe na Ustawi. Great, so what you're going to notice is we have different English words, but do our Swahili words change at all? No, the rhythm, the melody, that's all staying the same. We just have to change our English words. So let's learn those. The first sentence says, road is rocky and the way is dark. Good, and when we sing it, it sounds like this. Road is rocky and the way is dark. Can you try that with me? Here we go. Road is rocky and the way is dark. Good again. Ready, go. Road is rocky and the way is dark. And then we sing the part that we know. Amani utupe na ustawi. Good. The next line says every road has a different fork. That means when you come to a road that goes two ways, that's a fork in the road. There's two choices. There's two different directions you could go. So every road has a different fork, like that, all right? And it sounds like every road has a different fork. Give that a try, ready, go. Every road has a different fork. Amani utupe na ustawi. Great, I think you've got it. Let's try that whole new verse together. One, two, here we go. Road is rocky and the way is dark. Amani utupe na ustawi. Every road has a different fork. Amani utupe na ustawi. Great job, great job. This time while we're singing it to keep the beat, we marked with me. Here we go. Road is rocky and the way is dark. Amani utupe na ustawi. Every road has a different fork. Amani utupe na ustawi. Great. Now we're saying road is rocky and the way is dark. What that means is, is that sometimes our life isn't always easy, right? Sometimes we have a fight with a friend or maybe we don't get a good grade on a test. Somebody didn't play with us at recess today. We have hard times and that's what that line means. Road is rocky and the way is dark. Sometimes we just don't feel very good about things. But in our next line we're saying, but let us have peace and courage, right? Because remember, amani utupe na ustawi means grant us peace, give us courage, which helps to give us a good attitude inside, right? And know that we can handle things. And then the next line says, every road has a different fork. We all have more than one choice. We could choose to do the wrong thing and say mean things about the friend who didn't play with us, or we could just maybe try to make a new friend and make the best of it that day. Or we could see the bad grade on the test and we could be really angry at our teacher. Or we could go, you know what? I didn't study hard enough. I'm gonna study harder next time. So we always have a different choice. We always have the right and the wrong, the good, the bad, the best, the not the best kinds of choices to make, right? So that's what that line is. Every road has a different fork. And then again, we're saying, but give us peace and courage to make those right choices and to do the right things. So let's go back to the very beginning with the music and see if we can try putting verse one and verse two together. Now, after verse two, we have our same chorus part of, grant us peace, give us courage. Amani utupe na ustawi. Grant us peace, give us courage. Amani utupe na ustawi. And we sing that part again. We've already learned it. We are just repeating it after this verse. Okay? So here we go. Let's go back with the music and we're going to keep marching to keep a nice steady beat while we sing. Grant us 
two verses, and then we have one more to add on then later on. So wonderful job. As we're entering into this autumn time and seeing leaves falling off of the trees, I know in my neighborhood there's an oak tree, and this one oak tree, it's the only one in like this whole cul-de-sac and on part of the street, it has covered everybody's yards with brown leaves right now. It's just what happens, right? The neighbor apologized and I said, it's okay, it's beautiful, because it reminds me that autumn is here, especially since the warm weather has seemed to come back. Well, our song is called Little Leaves Are Falling and it goes like this. Will you please help keep a steady beat with me? Here it is, little leaves are falling, falling everywhere, making all the tall trees look so very bare. So our song says, little leaves are falling, falling everywhere, making all the tall trees look so very bare. Now, there are two kinds of bare. This is not like bare, this is bare as in nothing on it. No leaves, just the branches on our tree. Will you be my echo as we learn our song? Here we go, little leaves are falling. Falling everywhere. Making all the tall trees look so very bare. Very good job, very good job. Let's try it all together now. Ready, sing. Little leaves are falling, falling everywhere, making all the tall trees look so very bare. Great job. We're going to try to figure out just the rhythm to two parts of our song. Our very first line of little leaves are falling is what we want to try to figure out first. Where do we hear toddies? Where do we hear toss? So keep a steady beat and sing that line with me. Ready, go. Little leaves are falling. So we have four beats. Here are our four leaves. So on our first leaf where we sing little, how many sounds do we hear on little? You can tap it out. Little. If you said two sounds, you're right, and two sounds make a toddy. Good. So little is a toddy. So we have little on this leaf, but on this one we have leaves are. Let's tap that one out. Leaves are. How many sounds do you hear on that one? Leaves are. If you said two again, you are right. And so that two sounds on one beat would be a toddy. Perfect. Little leaves are, or toddy, toddy. Good, on our third leaf we have fall, fall. How many sounds do you hear there? Fall, just one, that's right. What note makes one sound on one beat? A ta, very good. So we have a ta on the third leaf. And so far we have toddy, toddy, ta. And then we have lean, the lean of falling. Fall, and then we have lean. So how many sounds does lean make? Yes, just one. So we have another ta, that is correct. Let's sing our rhythm. Here we go. ta di ta di ta ta Great job, one more time. Ready, go. ta di ta di ta ta Good, can we follow the rhythm? while we sing our actual words now. Ready, go. Little leaves are falling. We're gonna skip our second line for now. So in our next four leaves we have making all the tall trees. So on our first leaf of making, let's tap it out. Making. How many sounds did you feel or hear? Making, good, two. So two sounds on one beat is a Toddy, good. Making toddy. Our second leaf says all the. How many sounds did you feel or hear? All the. Two again, so it's another toddy, good. Our two sounds on one beat. So we have 
Tari, tari. And then our next third leaf says tall. How many sounds do you hear on tall? Just one. So it's a ta. Very good. Trees. Our fourth leaf says trees, which is a ta. Again, because we had one sound. Let's sing our third line. Here we go. Ta di ta di ta ta. Very good. Is it the same as the first line? You're right, it is. The same rhythm, just different words. Let's sing it with the real words this time and follow our rhythm. Here we go, making all the tall trees. Very good. All right, are you ready for a challenge? We are gonna switch from our rhythms, our rhythm words to our real words in between lines. So here's an example. ta di ta di ta ta Falling everywhere. Ta di ta di ta ta. Look so very bare. Okay, so we are going to try to switch back and forth between our rhythm words and our real words and see if we can do that. One, two, here we go. Ta di ta di ta ta. Falling everywhere. Ta di ta di ta. Look so very bare. Hey, that was great. Well, now that we know our song so well, we are going to sing it. And in between times that we sing it, I want you to echo me on some so me patterns. One, two, here's our song. Little leaves are falling, falling everywhere. Making all the tall trees look so very bare. Echo me. So me, so, so me. So me, so. Here's our song again. Little leaves are falling, falling everywhere. Making all the tall trees look so very bare. Echo me. So me, me, so. Me, so, me, me. Here's our song. Little leaves are falling, falling everywhere. Making all the tall trees look so very bare. So, so, me, me, me. So, me, so, so, so. Last time on our song. Little leaves are falling, falling everywhere. Making all the tall trees look so very bare. Great job being my echo on our So Me patterns and singing our Falling Leaves song. Thank you.
about a bear sleeping in a cave. But while we're singing this song, we're gonna practice our dynamics. Who knows what dynamics are? They are how loud or soft you are singing or playing an instrument, right? How loud or soft you are. Now, in music, our loud we call forte. Say forte. Good and forte is represented with this fancy looking F. So anytime you see this fancy looking F, it's telling you, you should be singing loud, forte. Say it again. Yes, just like that. So this fancy F means forte. Now, it's not such a fancy looking P, but this represents the word piano. Say piano. Good, and piano means soft or quiet. So if you see this P, you should be singing soft or quiet, piano. Say it. Very good. Now, these clearly don't sound like English words. Do you remember what language we use for our allegro and largo? Yes, Italian. Almost all of our music terms are in Italian. So forte and piano. Those are Italian words that mean loud and soft. So, as we are learning our song, we're going to be watching and listening for where are we singing forte and where are we singing piano so that we can follow along and we can use our voices appropriately. Now, we're only using our singing voices. So when you see forte, we're not shouting. We're just making our singing voice louder. And then when we see piano, we're just making our singing voice softer, okay? So be ready to keep a steady beat with me as you listen to our song. It may be a review for you. If it's not, just listen and you'll catch on quickly. It's a really easy song. Here we go. One, two, here it is. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. So where did you hear our forte? Where did you hear our piano? 
at the beginning, we started forte, right? We were loud. But then when we got to the part of please, if you wake him, if you shake him, or please be very quiet, those parts, we were singing piano softly. And then there was one more place we got forte again. Do you remember what it was? Let's sing it again and review. Here we go. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. Yes, on the word mad, that's where we went to forte. And we got loud again. So this time through, I, as we sing, I'm going to keep put up our fortes when we're singing forte, our piano when we're singing piano. And we're going to follow along and make sure we are doing our louds, our fortes, and our pianos, our softs, whenever we are supposed to be, okay? And then I'm going to mix it up for you. But first time, let's just make sure we see where it happens. Sing along and keep a beat. Here we go. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. Good work, good work. Now, if we were in the building when we get to have class together again, finally, I have a really fun game to teach you that goes along with this. We can't do that same game right now, so we're going to change up the activity a little bit. And instead of you following what we just did, you have to watch really carefully. So you have to change your singing voice based on whether you're seeing forte or piano. And so if you see the forte symbol come up, you're going to sing yes and if you see the piano symbol come up you're going to sing yes so it might not make sense to the song we might be going please be very quiet and sing very loudly with our forte you have to watch and try to follow along that's part of the challenge all right so steady beat one two here we go Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. <laughs> Good work. All right, you ready for a different one? Let's change it up and see how you do. One, two, here we go. Grizzly bear, grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. Woo, that was a lot of changing at the end, wasn't it? Great work. One last time. You're doing a fabulous job working on and practicing your fortes and pianos. <clears throat> here we go again. One, two, here we go. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. <laughs> yeah, great. All right, well, fabulous job practicing your fortes and pianos with me. And your Italian. Man, you guys are getting to know some great Italian words between forte, piano, allegro, which means what again? Fast. And largo, which means slow. Great work, everybody. Thank you for enjoying and practicing your dynamics. Yes, how loud or soft, that's right, that's what dynamics are with our Grizzly Bear song. Bear Snores On by Karma Wilson and Jane J. 
Chapman. In a cave, in the woods, in his deep, dark lair, through the long, cold winter, sleeps a great brown bear. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear, is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear, is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. Cuddled in a heap, with his eyes tight shut, he sleeps through the day, he sleeps through the night. The cold winds howl, and the night sounds growl, but the bear snores on. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear, is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear, is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. An itty bitty mouse, pitter pat, tiptoe, creep crawls in the cave from the fluff cold snow. Mouse squeaks, too damp, too dank, too dark. So he lights wee twigs with a small hot spark. The coals pit pop and the wind doesn't stop. But the bear snores on. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear, is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear, is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. Two glowing eyes, sneak peek in the den. Mouse cries, who's there? and a hare hops in. Ho, mouse, says hare. Long time no see. So they pop white corn and they brew black tea. Mouse sips wee slurps. Hare burps big burps. But the bear snores on. A badger scuttles by, sniff snuffs at the air. I smell yummy yums. Perhaps we can share? I've brought honey nuts, badger says with a grin. Let's divvy them up, cozy down, and dig in. And they nibble, and they munch, with a chew, chomp, crunch. But the bear snores on. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear, is sleeping in his cave. Grizzly bear, oh grizzly bear, is sleeping in his cave. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet. If you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very mad. A gopher and a mole tunnel up through the floor. Then a wren and a raven flutter in through the door. Mole mutters, what a night. What a storm, twitters wren. And everybody clutters in the great bear's den. They tweet and they titter. They chat and they chitter. But the bear snores on. In a cave in the woods, a slumbering bear sleeps through the party in his very own lair. Hare stokes the fire. Mouse seasons the stew. Then a small pepper fleck makes the bear hot. He blows and he sneezes and the whole crowd freezes.
And the bear wakes up. Bear gnarls. And he snarls. Bear roars. And he rumbles. Bear jumps and he stomps. Bear growls and he grumbles. You've snuck in my lair and you've all had fun. But me, I was sleeping and I have had none. And he whimpers and he moans and he wails and he groans. And the bear blubbers on. <laughs> Mouse squeaks, don't fret, don't fuss. Look, see, we can pop more corn. We can brew more tea. Bear gulps, bear gobbles. He sighs with delight. Then he spins tall tails through the blustery night. When the sun peeks up on a crisp, clear dawn, Bear can't sleep, but his friends snore on. The End Great, boys, we're going to work on learning a Mexican song today. And it has a riddle in it. So we're going to work on learning the Spanish words first. And then we're going to work on learning how the song is going to go. So let's see if we can do that. They're going to come on. They're going to say a phrase. And then you're going to repeat it back to them. So we're just going to use our speaking voice right now. Here we go. Una señora. Una señora, muy aseñorada, muy aseñorada, lleva corro, lleva corro, verde y camisa, verde y camisa, colorada, Colorada, adivina lo que es, adivina lo que es, fresa, 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 fresa. So you have probably noticed that we have some note heads up here, these black circles, and then at the very end we have these ones that have the X's on them. Those are going to be spoken no matter what. So fresa, fresa are going to be those words there. Let's try that one more time, making sure we got all those words. Here we go. Una señora. Una señora. Muy aseñorada. Una señorada lleva gorro, lleva gorro, verde y camisa, verde y camisa, colorada, colorada, adivina lo que es. Adivina lo que es. Fresa, 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 fresa. All right, so we're going to so we're gonna look at the pitches now. And this one here is our so, and it's marked for us over here at the side. So we have so, and then if that's so, a skip lower was our me, you guessed it. So we have so me. Can you do this with our so and me? Let's see. So me, me, so, so. So, so me, me, so, so. So if we looked at this first phrase, we have. Una señora, 
Can you do that part? Ready and go. Una senora. Then we have. Yoya senorada. Yoya senorada. Then, we're going to have the next phrase. We're putting all that together. Yeva gorro verde camisa colorada. All right. Yeva gorro verde camisa colorada. Then we go down to the next phrase. Adivina lo que es. Can you do that part? Adivina lo que es. Then we have fresa, fresa. So can you put that together? It's turning it una senora. Una senora, mioya senorada, lleva coro verde, camisa colorada, adivina lo que es, fresa, fresa. So, it says, one lovely lady, a very proper lady, on her head, a green cap, and on her back, a red shirt. Then, it's going to ask the question, can you tell me what she is? And the answer is, strawberry, strawberry. So, fresa means strawberry in Spanish. Adivina lo que es. What is she? Can you tell me what she is? So, anyway, let's see if we can do that with the music. Here we go. We're going to keep it nice and slow. Here we go. Una señora, una señorada. Lleva coro verde, camisa colorada, adivina lo que es, fresa, fresa. English. A lovely lady, a very proper lady. On her head a green cap, and on her back a red shirt. Can you tell me what she is? Strawberry, strawberry. All right, let's try it one more time before we go. Here we go. Try some of those Spanish words. Una señora, mi señorada, llega coro verde, camisa colorada, adivina lo que es, fresa, fresa. One, two, ready, go. One lovely lady, a very proper lady, on her head a green cap and on her back a red shirt. Can you tell me what she is? Strawberry, strawberry. Very nice job, first grade. Keep up the great work.